is under investigation. Danita Pettis is one of the highest ranking officers within the Cincinnati Police Department. As you mentioned, she runs District 2, which includes neighborhoods like Evanston, East Walnut Hills, Hyde Park, Oakley, Madisonville. In a memo that was written to Chief Thiege, Chief Teresa Thiege, on June 5th, the Internal Investigations Commander notifies the chief about a complaint that was received from another black female officer, Tony Nash, who gave them a recording of a person Nash says is Captain Pettis talking about her. The conversation is apparently with a third party. Now, we've tried to cover up a lot of the profanity that's in it, but it is implied, so now would be a very good time to cover sensitive ears that might be sitting next to you. Here are some excerpts from that recording. She think like you did something. No, motherfucker, you ain't hurt my feelings. I could am in a much better position to hurt yours because what you did is actually true. You was f***ing the enemy for real. And he was calling you inward to your damn fate. And while you sitting up here running your f***ing mouth today, you might want to go home and intend to the DV charges that you don't put on your motherfucking husband. I just be trying to come out, not come out of my role as a professional person. But I mean, I'm human too. Now you've been f white men since you came on the department. That's how you f to get off the FTO status over there. F District three, when your mother monkey ass was still on FTO status, because you're as dumb as a fucking box of rocks. Now, we did speak to the head of the local Fraternal Order of Police about this recording. He implies that the allegations are politically motivated, pointing out that they come as Captain Pettis has applied for the position of assistant police chief. We don't even get to hear both sides of the conversation. This sounds to me like a little bit of gotcha. Um, and uh, again, let's look at the full context of what's going on right now. And it gets released right now when there is this uh, there's a competition going for uh, an assistant chief's police spot. To have a captain use the term monkey ass when talking about another black officer, how could that be excused? You're convinced it's racial. This was a female black that was saying it. I find it improbable that a female black is referring anything racial about uh, the word monkey. Now we do have some initial reaction from Chief Fiji who says there is no difference in the level of expected, of expected behavior that CPD personnel must display towards those we serve versus how we treat our very own peers and colleagues. It's my expectation that members of this organization will treat one another with the utmost respect and professionalism. The city manager sent me a quote saying, I am committed to addressing the culture within our city departments and ensuring that Every employee feels safe and welcome at work. Kyle? All right, David Winter leading us off tonight. David, thank you so much. So Danita Pettis right now is accused of violating administrative regulations 25 and 55. These basically say that discriminatory harassment in the workforce of the city of Cincinnati will not be tolerated and city employees are entitled to respectful treatment in the workplace free from inappropriate behavior and also bullying. Captain Pettis has been reassigned to the record section while this investigation is underway. We're going to have much more on this investigation and reaction to it coming up for you tonight on Local 12 News live at 11 o'clock.